Hello, Ashim here, and welcome back to some more Higurashi when they cry. Uh, where I'm disappointed, where I've got semi cold tea. In any case, moving on. I feel like I know a lot about it, but I actually don't. I just have an extreme fear of rule not to leave Hinamazawa. After all, my life went wrong after I left. I felt dizzy when I tried to think about it further, so I stopped. When everything went on wrong in Ibaraki, I met Toyoshiro Summer, and he told me to go back to Hinamazawa. No, no, no. I'll get dizzy. Don't try and remember. Don't try and remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I got desperate because I felt responsible for the divorce. I just used Oyashira Summer as an excuse for my mental instability. And I told my father I wanted to go back to Hinamizawa, right? But wait, Oyashira Summer did come to me. And no, colours are too dallas dazzling. I can only remember the vivid colour of the pills and the dizziness. So それだけ知ってれば十分よ。鬼が淵より鬼が湧き出し、村人を襲った。それを見かねた親城様が降臨して、鬼たちを平伏させたわ。鬼たちは地獄を追放され、行き場がないことを嘆き。That's different from how I remember it. それで、村人たちは鬼たちを気の毒に思って。I think that's different from how I remember you telling it. So, the Oyashiro Sama was Murabito Tachi no Kokoro ni Kanme o Uke, Oni Tachi ni Hito no Sugata o Atae, Mura ni Kyozon Sase Tato you. So, no Chiwa, Shidai ni Majivari, Murabito Tachi ni Toke Konde Ita. So, this. I felt dizzy, like I was going to faint, because I touched for one memory I didn't want to. I was going to faint, because I was still feeling dizzy. All I could do was tilt my head quizzically. It seemed like Mio-san was expecting that response, because she smiled, looking satisfied that she successfully made me confused. She took a scrapbook out of her paper bag. She let Shion borrow it for a while last time from memory, didn't she? あ、ありがとうございます。でも私…いいのよ。暇な夜長にでも思い出したら読んでくれれば結構。レナちゃんは鋭いところがあるみたいだから、それを読んだ上で、今度じっくり議論を交わしたいわね。私も肯定的であれ、敵対的であれ、議論の相手がいなくて
and they told me it was a hallucination. But I thought Mio-san would listen to me. Mio-san... Ano... Kondo wa watashi no hanashi o kiite moratte mo ii desu ka? Ii wa yo. Kiite moratta o kaishi ni kondo wa watashi ga kiku wa? Ie... Sono... Oyashiro sama no hanashi nan desu. Eto... Sono... Waraware nai ka totemo fuan desu. Waraware nai wa yo. あなたも私の話を笑わなかったもの。ユーさん、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それはい。私、小学校に上がる前までは、ひなみざわに住んでいたんです。それが、母の仕事の関係で、茨城に引っ越したんです。えっと、この意味はわかりますよね。わかるわよ。ひなみざわを離れてはならないという、おやしろさまの近畿に触れた、ということね。そうですそれでいろいろ悪いことが起こって母が離婚し家庭はぐちゃぐちゃになりました私も自暴自棄になって悪いことをしたりしましたつらいこともあったのねそれで世の中の何もかもが嫌になって自分以外の幸せな人たち全部が私を見下しているように感じた最後の頃。Does she remember the footsteps? 不思議な存在が現れるようになったんです。それが、おやしろ様初めて現れたのは、えっと、内緒ですよ。全部嫌になって、自分を壊してしまいたいと思って、体に、刃物を突きつけたことがあったんです。その時、首をカミソリで切りつけたら、血に混じって、ブクブクと汚らしい何かが溢れ出したんです。She got a neck? それは、<笑>バカにしないわよ。続けて。The chill I felt at that time came back to me. I sealed that memory away. So that I wouldn't have to remember ever again. But once I unsealed it, I started remembering things one after another. Yes, back then there was something of the blood, something crawling. Hakagroi, Musu no Nanika. So let her, Kubikara Chiga Koboreno to Shoni, Barabara to Waki Dash Tekimasta. しかもそいつらは外へ溢れまいと傷口から再び中へ戻っていこうとわらわらわらわらって私そんな気持ち悪いのに体内に戻られたくなくって書きました首の傷をひっかいてほじくり出そうとしましたあーあああああああああ Oh. 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 People scratching at their throats is going to give me like PTSD now, isn't it? So, I was like, I'm going to go to the camp and get the camp. I'm going to go to the camp and get the camp. I'm going to go to the camp and get the camp. I'm going to go to the camp and get the camp. Why am I playing this at night? I understand, Ryugu-san. So, please calm down. I'm not going to go to the camp. 
血と一緒にドバッと溢れ出すけどすぐに元の血管の中に戻ろうとするそれがとてもかゆいんです<笑> Please bring a doctor No, no, don't chlorate it like that Bring me a sedative Hurry Hold her down Mia san sat next to me and held my hands tightly. His touch brought me back to reality. So, did you do it? So, now, that I know what I know, I know what I know. I know what I know. I know what I know. The memory was very vague, and I saw flickering lights. It made it difficult for me to remember. I met Oya Shiro Sama. That sentence is all I remembered. The memory of actually meeting Aya Shiro Sama was unbelievably vague. After I got out of the hospital, I continued being treated at home. I still felt that something. I still felt something moving in my veins, so I wanted to cut my body to make blood ooze out so that I could make sure there were no maggots in there. Ugh. Usually I was sleeping like that because of the strong pills I was taking, but one day I forgot to take the pills, and my consciousness was very clear. I felt the maggots moving in my veins, and I felt the urge to look inside. I cut a vein on my wrist. I knew it. A lot of blood and the many dusky red maggots came out from the wound. I wanted to wash them off before they crawled back inside me, so I put my wrist under running water in the bathroom sink and tried to open the vein. <sighs> water, blood, and maggots ran down into the drain. Just like squeezing out the pus from a pimple. I squeezed the vein to get rid of the dirty blood and the maggots. I kept doing it. My arms started to feel numb and I felt cold, but I kept doing it. I thought I might die from losing too much blood, but I kept doing it. My body was filled with maggots. I had to squeeze all my blood out of me. Ugh. Then, a very bright light shone upon me. It was a very bizarre sensation. I had never experienced anything like it in my life. All of a sudden, the dark bathroom was filled with bright light. It was very bright, but gentle. It wasn't like the light from the merciless fluorescent bulb. It was very warm and gentle. That was a Yashira Summer. A Yashira Summer was looking at me with gentleness and sadness in his eyes. As he touched my wing, the maggots started melting and disappeared in front of my eyes. That wasn't all. All the maggots that were moving throughout my veins disappeared too. Are you sure is how it taught me? These maggots were the curse. People of demon's blood can't live outside of Hinamazawa. It's for all. Unfortunately, you've been cursed. It's very sad, and I feel sorry for you. There's only one way to save you. That's what he said. What should I do? The answer was very simple. All I needed to do was go back to Hinamazawa. I unconsciously knew that before I heard it from my Yashiro Sama. People who were born in Hinamazawa must never leave. But I broke my Yashiro Sama's rules, and I left Hinamazawa. That's why my family was broken, and I lost my mind. If I hadn't left Hinamazawa, nothing would have gone wrong. And so, I had to go back. I assure someone also told me this. He could make the maggots, the embodiments of the curse, disappear. But only temporarily, because I lived far from Hinamazawa. After a while, the power of I assure someone would fade away, and the curse would start eating my body again. If that happened, 
maggots would take over my body, and I'd go insane and die. I must go back to him as I, before his power to hold down the curse faded away. That's what Oyashiro Sama told me. He did. I heard him tell me that. I should have gone back to him as I earlier. Really? Why is the internet is it mouse going off the screen maybe? Hmm. Odd. That's why Oyashiro Sama came to put his came to me to put his curse on me. But he gave me a chance. He gave me a chance to pay him for my sin of leaving Hinamazawa. Dad, listen, Oyashiro Sama is going to help us. Let's go to back to Hinamazawa. Hinamazawa is the place where we must live. If we don't, not only me, but you might be cursed too. Let's go back to Hinamazawa. That's the only place where we can live. We need to hurry. We need to hurry. Oyashiro Sama's power will fade away. My body will be eaten by the maggots. Oh, no, are you sure someone is following me? He's telling me to hurry. He follows me everywhere and keeps telling me to hurry. He keeps apologizing to me for putting his curse on me. He follows me everywhere and keeps apologizing. I'm telling you the truth. I am. Why can't anybody see it? Why can't they see the maggots or are you sure someone? Everybody is trying to fool me. I know they can see them too. No, no, please stop. I don't want to get another shot. Ah. I was gonna say maybe it's like induced hallucination um, with forced footsteps um, based off of what Rena had said because we only hear about it from Keichi after um, we hear about it from Rena but Shion hears it separately um, I think, but so that wouldn't quite work out. However, it might still be forced hallucination from something else making you hear footsteps. Although how that lasted on Xion for so long, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if she was consistently drugged by, that would re probably require um. What's his name to be in on it? Her bodyguard, which I doubt he'd be in on it. Anyway, moving on. I was breathing hard, and Mio's son was holding my shoulders. I could feel that the terrible memory I'd been trying to forget was awakening. The doctors told me that the memory was just my delusion. They told me that since I'd blamed myself for the divorce, I unconsciously had a desire to blame someone else for it, and I unconsciously connected the desire to the folk tale. Oh, you're sure summer that I read when I was little. I got drug treatment, received counselling, and waited. I gradually got better, and that proved the things I saw were just a hallucination. The doctors asked my father to consider moving to Hinamazawa if possible. Fortunately, he wanted to change his living environment to heal his pain from the divorce as well. So, we came back to Hinamazawa. After we came back to him as our, I felt it. I felt it in my bones that this was a place that we should live. And I also felt Oyashiro Sama's blessing. I definitely felt it. I felt the curse of Oyashiro Sama starting to break. I was free. Toby is free. After I moved here, I went to the clinic in Gogura for a while. The doctors gave me the same poisonous looking pills, and I kept taking them for a while. The terrible memory gradually became unclear. Whenever I tried to remember it, I could only remember the strong side effect of the pills, and it made me dizzy. That's how I regained my peace. And then I changed my name, Reina. The reason was because my name reminded me of those bad memories. I didn't want to have anything icky in my life anymore. That's why I came up with the idea of taking Icky things out. After I took the eye of Icky out of my name, Reina, there was only Ren, Re and Na left. That's how Rena was born. I like that. But she also took out the incredible, I think. If we go by the earlier example. 
when I was introduced to my classmates, I told them to call me Rena. Since then, that had been my name. I'm living my new life as Rena. I cut away all the sad things that happened when I was Raina. My father still calls me Raina, but I don't feel bad as long as it was just my father and my relatives. But then, Raina came into my life one day, and she called me Raina. Because she called me Raina, those colored lights started flickering again. I should stop. I should forget about it. The lights were still flickering. Judging by Mio-san's reaction, I wasn't panicking as badly as I thought I was. But, I've probably had those panicked hallucinations several times. If I started screaming and yelling like I once did, they'd take me away to a hospital again for sure. Mia-san <laughs> smiled, looking a little confused. I couldn't blame her. I didn't expect her to believe it. I'm sure it was just a strange memory I created for myself in my hallucinations. I can't believe that I... I can't believe I can't trust myself. That's the worst feeling of all. Well, the brain is inherently lying to us with our memories, to be fair. レナちゃん。まず一つ安心してほしいの。はい。レナちゃんが怖がっているたたり。つまり血の中にいたという変なもの。それは親白様が言うには ひなみざわにいる限りは大丈夫なんでしょう。ええ、そう言ってました。なら怯えることはないじゃない。安心して。あなたは今ひなみざわにいる。まあこの図書館はお気の宮だけど、このくらいの距離ならお社様も許してく
バカにしないでちゃんと読んでくれそうな気がするし<笑> She took a few scrapbooks out of her paper bag and handed them to me ぜひ読んで感想を聞かせてねあるいはひょっとするとレナちゃんにしかわからないことなのかもしれない Mia さん was acting mysteriously She smiled mischievously and put her index fingers on her lips, sign to keep it secret. Ato, kono scrap chow to, watashi ga so yu kenkyu shite iru no wa, naisho yo? Naisho desu ka? Hai, wakarimashita. Hmm. Datte, konna kenkyu o shite iru no ga renchu ni shirare tara, kesare te shimau ka mo shire nai mo no ne. She laughed after she said that. They might erase her. That's what she said. And she went missing. She left me her scrapbooks. And that's not all there is to it. It's the way Tomitake san died. Oi san said he committed suicide because of a state of excitation caused by using some kind of drug. But I know what really happened. I didn't tell Oi san about it. I don't think I don't think he'd believe me even if I had told him. Without a doubt, Tomataka's son died trying to get rid of the maggots. It was nothing other than the curse of Oyashura Sama. To never leave him as our isn't the only rule of Oyashura Sama. There are more. He might have broken one of them without knowing it. Oi san told me. Tomitaka san was taking pictures of his camera flash on during the sacred ritual dance, and some people got mad at him for it. Did Oyashura sama put his curse on Tomitaka because he violated the sacred ritual dance? It might be for another reason. Anyway, he died from the curse of Oyashura sama, without a doubt. Did that mean Oyashura sama put his curse on Miya san too? Investigating the gods is the same as getting close to the gods, it's disrespecting them. But Miyosan told me that they might get rid of her if they found out about her investigation. By they, she meant humans. Plus, according to Earth theory, the three families are in a conspiracy to revive the faith of Oyashura Sama. But I can tell by the way Tomotake san died. It was the act of the curse. I'm certain about that because I experienced the curse myself. What if she was being drugged back then? Eh? Although, I guess like, she would have had a full examination, though. Although, maybe they wouldn't have been looking for this drug, whatever it is. At first glance, that seemed incompatible with those conspiracy theories about human beings. I remember that Oi san told me something about some kind of drug that can make a person commit suicide. Say, do the three families have a secret drug that can cause the curse of Oyashura san? That's impossible. Plus, I didn't get any shots of a suspicious drug like that. I had a normal life in Nibaraki. I wasn't involved with the Sonzaki family or the Kimiyoshi family. Oi san asked me a favor. He asked me to tell him secretly if I saw or heard anything suspicious. It could be about Michan, Rike chan, or anybody in the village. <laughs> yes, anything suspicious. You know, just casually asking for murderer here. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, nope, no, nope, can't think of anything. Oh, yeah, you know, there was that one time when we were burying bodies that Michan seems awfully familiar about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll mean, san believe my story about Oyashira san, now she's gone. Tomotake san died by doing the same thing I did. No, 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 no. I don't want to get involved with the curse of Oyashira san. Is this a conspiracy of a group of fanatical cult members? Or is it the curse of Oyashira san? Is everything just a set of coincidences? Or maybe it's a mixture of a conspiracy and the curse. I don't know. I don't know. 
Is the work of humans the curse or a coincidence? And no, even the light of a sunset is making me feel dizzy. I wonder if the sunlight in Hidden Mazar gets so mean. On that note, I will end it there today. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time, see ya.